guys, it's Margaret and today I'm bringing you my Etsy sales update video. My last eBay and Etsy sales update videos, I asked you guys to let me know in the comment section whether or not you like those videos combined or you like them separated and overwhelmingly um, the majority of people felt like they would like them separated. So I am separating them today so I will share with you my Etsy sales. However, I will tell you what my profits were on eBay because I did have a lot of people say, but however, I like them separate, but I like to see what you, what your numbers were like on eBay as well and how they compare. So um, in my Etsy one, I will show you my eBay numbers and vice versa. So thanks so much for your input, you guys. So let me jump right into it and share with you what all has sold on Etsy lately. I am scooting. Here we go. There. All right. So. This is, first I was going to tell you, because today's the 17th, the last time I did an update, it was the third. So it's been about two weeks. Has it really been that long? I guess it has. <laughs> it's been busy, you guys. Um, and many of you may know I have not been doing as much listing as I should. I hate to say that I should, as I should be. I haven't been listing as much um, because I've been focusing on my merch by Amazon uh, account, trying to get that scaled up. So that's what's been going on and why I haven't been listing as much. So let's jump in and share what all I've sold. So this is a pink and gold floral porcelain hat pin holder. This was in my grandmother's collection. And uh, so it cost me nothing and it sold for $29.99 which net me after shipping and everything with $30.81. Um, my shipping was a bit off. I thought it was going to be heavier. So it, I, I made a little money off the shipping there. Oh, those are my eBay sales. Maybe I should have had that separated. This is a New Orleans money clip. So there's New Orleans, Louisiana money clip, Jackson Square, because that's the statue in Jackson Square in New Orleans. Um, so I picked this up for a quarter. It sold for $17.99, and that net me $16.92. Not too shabby. And then this is a hematite and silver tie tack. So looks like this. I did not clean it up. I just left it tarnished because some people like that look. So, and I mean, this one's pretty tarnished. I probably could have cleaned it up a teensy bit, but I didn't. <laughs> Uh, paid a quarter, like I said, um, sold for $21.99, and that net me $19.91. And then this little thimble was in my grandmother's collection. She had a, a small collection of thimbles. Um, this Limoges thimble, and so it cost me nothing. Where did you go? Down here. Oh, I lost you. Oh, here it is. Cost me nothing. It's over twelve ninety nine, and so my net was twelve fifty. And then this, I want to say this was in a lot, but perhaps not. As somebody asked in one of the last videos, what do I mean when I say I got it in a lot? Um, it means like perhaps I got it in a jewelry jar, or I got just a bunch of stuff, a bunch of jewelry together, and, and that was the way it was. I can't remember, and I've, I've got to say I've been woefully behind on my bookkeeping on where I enter what I paid for different things. I could go back and watch my whole videos, but I, I just didn't have the time today to do that. So I put that, I paid about a quarter for this. It could have been as much as a dollar depending, but I think that it came from a lot of jewelry that I got. Um, it wouldn't have been more than a dollar that I paid for it. Um, so it, I sold it for $21.99 and that net me $19.91. Next up is another hat pin holder and this one seemed pretty basic, um, but it is, you know, it was marked RS Germany. The lady who got it was really happy to get it and said it reminded her, her of her grandmother. It was in my grandmother's collection and so it, it cost me nothing. Sold for $21.99 and that net me $23.33. Again, I when I was listing these, I must have thought I was going to have to send them flat rate, you know, bubble mailer, but I did not. I did not. This sold. This is this was in a um, jewelry jar. This was a elephant, and it was a pin, and it was big. It's pretty big. Um, large gold tone elephant. I said I paid a dollar for it, but I don't think it was quite that much when everything averaged out. Um, so it sold for $34.99, and that net me 
and that net me $31.32 for that brooch. Pretty nice. And it didn't have a maker's mark. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, I didn't. You have our colored stones. Yeah. So next up was this Hawaii, like, mesh back hat. This one I paid a buck ninety nine for. It sold for twenty four ninety nine, and so my net profit after fees was twenty three dollars and forty cents. That's pretty good. <laughs> and then this, uh, I picked this up at a garage sale. I probably would not pick up something like this again. I was this was pretty early on. I was trying things out. It's been around for a while. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, so I paid a dollar for it. Finally sold fourteen ninety nine. And that net me fifteen thirty one. Again, the shipping was a bit off on that. It looks like I charged five fifty, and uh, it only cost two sixty to ship it. But these are things I've they hat pin holders and some of the porcelain stuff can sit for a while. So the hat pin holders you see that I've sold, they've been up for a good year. Um, same thing with this one. So <clears throat> that's that. And then this applause brand turtle sold, um, and it I. I paid a buck ninety nine for it. The person sent me a message and asked if I could come down on the price, and we negotiated back and forth and settled on twenty dollars, and so my net was seventeen dollars and five cents. So those are my sales on Etsy for the last couple weeks. Pretty good, I think, for not having really done a lot of listing at all. Um, so my profit was two hundred eleven dollars and twenty one cents. So again. Not too bad. Like I say, I've been focusing a lot of my attention on merch lately, um, but this coming week is I'm planning on listing more. Um, my eBay sales, stay tuned, I'll have the eBay video coming up. My eBay sales were $214, so right around the same amount um, for eBay and Etsy over the last two weeks. All right, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Stay tuned for the eBay sales update and find out what all I sold on eBay and what kind of profits I made. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button so you can see when new videos come out. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.